Prime Minister Modi last week actually commented about how certain activists like Medha Patkar were so wrong about the Narmada Dam. And today, the Narmada Dam, uh, with its raised height, irrigates more than 24 lakh hectares of farmland. It generates enough power for uh, up to uh, 14 lakh homes and also provides drinking water for lakhs of homes. How do you view this? And also, I wanted to particularly ask you, how damaging has such misplaced uh, you know, activism and misleading political narratives been for India over the decades? I think uh, misplaced political activism has been very, very damaging for India because we are a poor country. And being a poor country, we need development activities. Yes, when you build big dams, we are going to divert the course of rivers, accumulate water. There is some environment impact. There is going to be impact on people who have to be resettled. But the larger impact for a country of our size and our capacity is important. Here, an extremely large number of people have been benefited. They have got drinking water. They've got water for irrigation. Yes, a few thousands have been hurt because the land has been submerged. And the issue is proper resettlement. Now, what Medha Patkar and the ilk did was voodoo science, voodoo economics. They came and sold a soft story which many people bought because all these bleeding hearts think that they know the answers for people and government is always wrong. It ended up being very expensive. It ended up pe people paying a high cost. It delayed the benefits of the project and thereby the prime minister was right in calling up. Even in Kundan Kolam in that uh, you know, nuclear plan, it was the German churches and European churches who paid money. Even Dr. Manmohan Singh pointed out, they paid money, bought the crowds and the local, uh, you know, all these activists, you know, got money and sell the story, the so sell out their souls. So I think India has been damaged by many of them. Of course, we must understand that um, some of the points they make is very valid, that there must be proper resettlement, we must have environmental impact, etc. But you can't go on delaying it. It's like the road in the Char Dam, right? Uh, they went and convened the Supreme Court one time that was limited to five, uh, five meters until the uh, government is able to go to the Supreme Court and say, we need the 10 meter road because we want to move the armed forces to the border in case of need. And China has already built a 10 meter road to the other side and we can't be sitting ducks. And then the Supreme Court relented. We have to have development. We must take the environment along, environment issues along with us and make sure the damage is limited. But these people delayed it too much. And in a court system, anything that goes to court gets stuck. That's the real tragedy because you can resolve it in three, four years. But you know, if you, they go to court, you know, one court to another court, it takes 15, 20 years. That is the real damage. This kind of debates are not the damage, but the fake economics, this fake kind of environmentalism is the real damage. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.